This video is going to show you why it always pays to take a chance in communicating with a seller on eBay. Silver Age Key on its way. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, my comic book lovers. My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics. And today, I have a Silver Age key that um, is a book that I don't know if I was looking for, but I've seen it. And it's uh, one of those pricey DC books that I got an amazing deal on. And there's my other cat. This is That's Shy. He doesn't like to come on here very often, but now you got to see his little cameo appearance. But um, I'm going to give a little story about this one. Because I want my subscribers, especially if you're new or just coming back to comic book collecting, this book, or these books, there's actually two books. I only really bought it for one. The other one is kind of a throw-in, but I don't care. It still has some value to it. But this book was listed at $350, which included shipping and handling. And they had a best offer, which basically says, I mean, I don't know why they do a buy it now with those. Because when I see any auction that says best offer, it says I'm willing to take less than what I put the best offer price for. So I never understood that. But so many people are so afraid to take a chance on making a good offer because they're afraid they're going to say no. And if they do, so what? But start out low because if you say, for example, let's say they're selling this with the, with the best offer, again, starting at $350, and you decide, all right, I'll offer $325, they may accept that. And you may think, wow, I got a good deal. But you only saved 25 bucks, which may seem okay. But compared to what I paid for it, you'll see that it's worth taking the chance on because worst case scenario, they say no. But every now and then, they actually say yes. And I got to be careful about this because they tape this pretty darn close together. And I'm going to change the bag and board anyway, so... As long as I don't cut the book, that would make for an interesting video. So I won't give the price until the end. I want to show the books first. But I want people to have confidence when they are communicating with sellers. Because of the fact that you can get deals even when they're not specifically saying you can offer it. Like I have a book. That I'll do a video on soon. I have so many videos right now. Some of these are going to be put on the back burner. So it'll probably be a couple of days. Maybe a week before you even see this video. But I've ha I have um, books coming. That. Did not even have a best offer. And I messaged them. And they said okay. So I have videos. I actually talked about it on my live show. So if you actually watch the whole thing. You'll actually know which book I'm talking about. But here's the two books. This one was kind of a throw-in. I don't care, but it still has some value to it. This is Showcase Issue number 33 with an early Silver Age appearance of Aquaman and Aqualad. Um, pretty decent book. I would say from what I saw in the pictures and everything, 4.0 to a 4.5. And it does have a color break increase along here. Staples look like they're intact. There's hardly any spine ticks. Colors look really good. There's another color break all the way here and here. And some color breaks there. So it's actually would probably be about a 4.0. Obviously, I have to look at it. But that's not why I bought it. The reason I bought it, and again, they wanted $350 for both of these books. That is showcase issue number 30. Which is a little strange, because it's not the quote-unquote first Silver Age appearance of Aquaman. It's the first tryout issue. So it's a little weirder, because Aquaman was one of those Golden Age books that just continued on. 
like some books from the golden age, like for example, Captain America, they stopped it for a while. Or if you think from DC, Shazam, they stopped it back in the golden age. And it wasn't until the bronze age that you saw Shazam again. So that's what they talk about when they say first silver age appearance. So this one is actually labeled, if you see a graded book of, um, a graded version of this book, it will say the first tryout issue. So it's a little interesting, but it's definitely, it predates Aquaman number one, and you see how expensive that book is. So this is a book that I think is kind of very undervalued at this point, especially since Aquaman, I believe, unless they've changed it, may be getting his own movie. Now I say may because there's a lot of changes going on at DC. Who knows what they are and are not going to do at this point. But this, to me, is very undervalued. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a video soon, probably in another week or so, of what I feel are five undervalued comics. Well, like I said, this they wanted $350 for both these books, which in itself is not bad. But when I see a best offer, I'm not going to buy it now at that price. So this is what I offered. And they accepted my first offer. I offered $200. And they accepted. So that's $200 with free shipping. For Showcase 33 and Showcase number 30. I mean, that book alone is so undervalued even in lower grades. And this one, it has some spinal issues. You could see, I don't know if that's detached from the cover here, but there's a couple of breaks here and there. I'll have to see if the cover is detached, but even still, in, uh, for the price I paid for this, so you're talking 150 for this book and $50 for that book, which is pretty much what this book goes for, roughly around the 50 to $75 mark. So I think I did pretty good with that. But again, so many people, when they do best offers, they get intimidated or they get scared. And they, they say maybe $25, which they would have approved. But take the chance. Some people are just going to get insulted. And to me, that's just ridiculous because they can always come back with a counteroffer. And the worst they can do is say no or just not respond. But you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So I saved $150 from what they initially wanted to sell this book for. And if, and I say if, Aquaman ends up in his own solo movie or continues to be as popular as he was in Justice League, I mean, they said he was probably one of the, you know, brighter parts of the Justice League movie, this book is going to continue to rise. So be on the lookout for this book if you can get it. So as usual, I always appreciate those who watch the video until the end. If you watch until the end, what is it that I'm holding right now? And if you're not aware of what this is, this is a comic book backing board. So you can place that in the comments section. Um, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, you got to be a subscriber. And if you want one, let me know because I don't want to just assume because I want it to be for people that actually watch the videos. Because I've had some people where before I started asking people to, you know, ask for them, I put out shout-outs that some people never saw. Because they subscribed and, you know, maybe they watched some of the video, but obviously they don't watch until the end. So people that ask for it, I know they're watching the entire videos. Because let me tell you something. Anybody that takes the time to watch my entire video, that's the person I want to make sure gets priority with a shout-out. Especially if they want one. I mean, I... I I, I'm very humbled by the fact that somebody cares enough to want a shout out from me on one of my videos. So I want to make sure I do that. Just keep in mind now, a bunch of people have requested it. So if you do request it, please be patient because I got to go with the order of which they went to be fair. But every now and then I like to mix it up. That's why I call it a surprise subscriber shout out. So be on the lookout. So if you want to give it a thumbs up, you guys know I always appreciate that. If you want to help my channel expand, please share my channel to other people that you think might love comics. Check out my playlists to learn more about comics, especially if you're new. Hit subscribe and um, just don't hit the person next to you because that's just not nice. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. And I would say that this character is up to something that's pretty fishy.